A voltaic cell, also known as a galvanic cell or an electrochemical cell, is a spontaneous electrochemical reaction. It is how a battery is made. In a battery, chemical reactions occur producing electrical energy. So there's a conversion between chemical energy and electrical energy. For our example, we're using a lithium thionyl chloride battery, which is a lithium battery that you can purchase in a store. We have present a, lith a solid lithium electrode. As well, present, we have a lithium tetrachloroaluminate electrolyte. On the other side of the reaction, we have a solid carbon electrode with a thionyl chloride electrolyte. The first step to any voltaic cell question is you have to dissociate the ionic compounds. And for this reason, we've dissociated the lithium tetrachloroaluminate and the thionyl chloride into its ions. We then identify the strongest reducing and strongest oxidizing agent. We have discovered that lithium solid is the strongest reducing agent on the chart. This will become our anode, as it will be oxidized within the reaction. On the other side, in the other cup, in the voltaic cell, we have the hypochloride ion reacting with water as our strongest oxidizing agent. From there, we can label our diagram for our voltaic cell. On the anode side, which is the negative electrode, we have a solid lithium turning into lithium ions and one electron. At the anode, we lose electrons through the external circuit. Over on the other side, we have the cathode, which will be gaining the electrons from the external circuit. This reaction is the hypochlorite reacting with water and gaining two electrons to become the chloride ions and the hydroxide ions. Overall, you will see a loss of mass of the anode as it de decomposes into lithium ions and electrons. On the cathode side, which is the positive electrode, we're seeing reduction occur, but no gain or loss of mass. The only thing you may actually realize is that the, the pH of the overall solution will go up due to those hydroxide ions being present. In essence, we have the circuit going on. To complete the circuit, we have to also have the salt bridge. The salt bridge contains something like potassium nitrate, an inert solution. The ionic solution allows for the um, equilibrium of the ionic charges. The anions, which are the nitrate ions, are going to travel towards the anode to replace those loss of electrons. On the other side, we're going to gain the cations. The cathode will gain the cations to replace those newly gained negative electrons. Overall, we have a consistent system going on. If we calculate the cell potential, we calculate it using cathode minus anode, or oxidizing agent minus reducing agent. We calculate the cell potential to be 3.88 volts, which is enough energy to power any small piece of equipment. Overall, the voltaic cell is a very interesting spontaneous reaction that is usable in everyday life.